type ORM implements two ORM patterns to access and manipulate database records, and those patterns are data mappers and active records. In the data mapper approach, we can basically access the database using repositories, and using an active record approach, we can access the database by interacting with the model entity itself. Let's get started with an example of a data mapper. So I'm going to create a new entity, and I'm going to call it user. Let's create the class export class user, and let's add a couple of columns. We're going to have an ID. This will be a number. We're going to have a first name. This will be a string. And a last name. This will be a string as well. Now let's add the type of RM decorators. First, let's add the entity decorator. Now let's add the decorator to set this column as the primary key. Primary generated column is going to take the out increment value from MySQL. And we're going to have the first name as a column and the last name as a column. Now let's go to our index file where we're going to get the new user. And we're going to use first a data mapper approach using a repository. Let's create a new user, const user equals new user. User dot first name equals to Sean. User dot last name equals to so. And now let's create a user repository, const user repository. And the way to create a repository is by using the connection object. This is connection.get repository, and we pass the entity of the repository, in this case, user. And using this repository, we can save this user in the database. So user repository dot save and we pass the instance of the user. We can also use the user repository to get the list of users, for example, const users equals to user repository dot find. And we can do console.log and we can log the list of users. And here I forgot to add wait, and this is a wait. Okay, and as we can see here, we don't have any tables in the database. So now let's run this index file and let's see how the user table is created. And let's see the users that we are going to log here. This is npm run start. And as we can see here, we have a collection with a single user with the first name Sean and the last name Doe. And if we refresh the database, we're going to have one table. That is the user table. We're going to have one record with Sean as the first name and Doe as the last name. Okay, now let's make a change in the user entity so that we use an active record approach. So basically, the change here is extending the base entity class. So by extending this class, we convert this user class into an active record. So let's go to our index file. Okay, I'm going to remove this. And I'm just going to keep the user instance. And now, for example, using active records, I can save this user by doing user.save. And this is going to insert the user in the database. So let's go to the database explorer. I'm going to drop this table. Okay, and now let's run this index file. This is npm run start. Now let's refresh the database. And as well as here, we have the user table. And if we take a look at the data, we're going to find a single record with the first name and the last name that we set here. And let's say that we want to find a user in the database using an active record. So here we can do user. Here we are not using the user instance, we're using the, the user class. So here we can do find one, for example. 
and we can pass the properties that we want to use to filter the entity. First name, in this case, let's say shown, and last name as though. Use a constant, const user one, and I'm going to log the result. Console.log user one. Okay, I'm going to remove this. And this is await because this is a promise. Now let's run the index file, npm run start. And as we can see here, we get the user from the database by using the find one method of the user entity using the active records approach. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care, bye.